and welcome to our eco-friendly universe. In this episode, we'll build and demonstrate a hydroelectric generator. A generator is also known as an alternator. It produces voltage through electromagnetic induction. The concept of magnetic induction uh, is a basis for all generators and motors. As voltage is produced when a conductor moves through a magnetic field. The conductors are made up of the coiled copper wire and neodymium magnets create a magnetic field. As the magnets rotate, it causes a change in the magnetic flux, uh, causing an induced electromotive force, or EMF, commonly known as voltage. We'll create a turbine made of eight spoon blades connected to a nine axle. As water flows from a bucket located above the generator onto the turbines, the turbine will rotate to produce mechanical energy. As the turbine rotates, magnets attached to a disc on the axle will rotate as well. The magnets, which are alternating and polarity, north, south, south, north, south, will hover over a series of coiled copper wires, also on the disc, causing change in the magnetic flux that will create a flow of current. The coiled copper wires are wired in series and are wound with the coil segments each reverse in alternation so that one coil is wound clockwise and the next is wound counterclockwise. This creates an alternating flow of current with the current changing direction every cycle. As the current flows within the coils, it generates its own magnetic field. The magnetic field of one coil of wire is shown by the equation B equals N mu sub zero I over 2R. Each coil of wire used in our alternator has approximately 100 turns with a radius of about 2.5 centimeters. The entire circuit provides a DC output current of 2 amps and about 2.7 volts. This is AC current, it has to be converted into DC, so it is fed through what is called a bridge rectifier. Now, bridge rectifiers are very small and uh, you can get them as a single component. Radio Shack has them for like two or three dollars. It will convert all AC current into DC. Hydroelectric generators. You know the alternator in your car it charges your battery. Uh huh. Um, that same alternator has the same principle. As the generator produces a voltage signified by this sine wave in a circle, it comes out of the output leads into a transformer. The transformer steps the input voltage up to produce a higher voltage output depending on the ratio of the number of turns of the internal coils. To transform the alternating current into direct current, the output of the transformer is applied to a rectifier. A typical configuration for the rectifier is a full wave bridge rectifier. This is made up of four rectifying diodes and has four terminals. The input terminals, which alternate positive and negative, permit input current to flow between them in either direction. The output terminals, positive and negative, permit current to flow only from positive to negative. The effect of a full wave bridge rectifier is to convert an alternating current into a direct current so that one output is consistently positive and the other output always remains negative. A capacitor is also attached from the negative terminal to the positive terminal in parallel in order to regulate the voltage. A regular AC sine wave graph looks like this, with a positive and negative voltage in every cycle. By adding a rectifier in the circuit, the graph of voltage versus time becomes the absolute value of the AC sine graph. Running a capacitor in parallel with the rectified alternator output voltage causes the output voltage to become relatively constant, only varying proportionally to the rate of rotation of the magnets. We need to have the same load on each, and I have the similar, I have a similar one. A red one. Oh, I have a green one too. Here we go. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't do 
through it now. Just test it first. And we're not even doing anything. Oh, oh. oh. Equally bright. Equally bright. All right. That's oh. all right. These are initial tests. They will run in the bathtub with the water pressure from the sink faucet as the source of energy for the turbines. An LED is wired in series with the DC output of the bridge rectifier. With the resistance of the LED, our hydroelectric generator easily produces 2.7 volts. And without the LED connected, voltage produced can reach up to 6 volts. As you know, V equals IR, so as resistance increases, the voltage decreases. This is a 5 gallon bucket with a valve installed. It is placed at the top of the stair so that the water gains the gravitational potential energy it needs as the source of power for our hydroelectric generator. We have approximately a 7 to 8 feet difference in height. The water pressure at the bottom of the bucket created by a water height of approximately 13 inches also provides a force in addition to the force of gravity. This energy is then converted by the turbines. Yes! Put that thing kid on! That's oh, nice! That is so cool! That is so mad freaking cool! Magnets are attached to the rotor, which rotates with the turbine to cause the electric charge in the coils to flow as current and create a potential difference across the outputs of the coil series. As the turbine rotates faster and faster, the increased rotational velocity of the turbine causes the magnetic flux to change more rapidly. The magnetic flux is a measure of the magnetic field passing through a given surface. The stronger the magnetic field and the larger the area it passes, the greater the magnetic flux. And the faster the magnetic flux changes, the more voltage is produced. We are almost still spinning. Done. Still spinning. So generating the volt. And here's a demonstration of how even when it stops spinning and there's no more water, the light bulb's still on. Still got 2.4 volts so far and decreasing very, very re relatively rapidly. No more water. water. No more water. It's not spinning. Let me see. It's not spinning. It's not spinning. But it's still oh, wait. On. I'm going to turn it on by cranking. Oh, do you see that? Oh, okay. Check that out. Check that out. Woo! Damn. 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 The faster you spin, Damn. the faster you spin, the, the more path. voltage is produced. And therefore, the brighter it gets. The brighter it gets. That's fancy. That's fancy. You're fancy, huh? I'm gonna make it flash. Ooh. Yeah? It's not flashing, it's glimmering. Like one of those candles. Why is this thing grating on me? That's like that. 